Hey everyone, Will from GI Sports here. What we're gonna cover today is the basic maintenance on the GI Victus. How often should you be doing this? Basically, you should be doing it before you play. Not at the end of your play day, but actually the day of your play day, whether it's a practice or whether it's an event. Reason being is if you grease up your gun, get it ready after you play, then it might be a week or two, maybe next week, next weekend, whatever. All that grease and lube basically migrates from where you put it, and so your gun's not gonna be running at an optimum level. So again, before you play, this is what you should be doing. So let's get started. Grab your GI Victus, press on the release button, pull out the drivetrain. So what you wanna do once you remove the drivetrain is you wanna separate the ram housing from the firing chamber. It's two pieces that unscrew like so. Now, when you're taking those two pieces apart, you wanna be sure that you don't lose this free floating O-ring right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that aside right now. Now, there's a couple of areas that you wanna take care of. So first, let's wipe off all the old grit and grime. We're gonna take a microfiber cloth and wipe down everything. We're gonna wipe down the firing chamber, we're gonna wipe down the rammer, we're gonna wipe down the bolt, anywhere that we see any dirt, grime, grease, anything like that. So, now everything's nice and shiny, we can begin with the lubrication. So what you're gonna need is your GI Battle Grease. If you don't have any GI Battle Grease, I suggest you use Dow 33. We're gonna take a little dollop of grease, like so. Now, the most important place on the Victus's drivetrain to lubricate is inside the refill plug. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it back like so, and you'll notice inside here there's a well. Behind that well is the most important O-ring of the gun. So we're gonna pack that well full of grease. And in doing so, when the air blows by, it's gonna keep that nice and lubricated. We're gonna put the refill plug back into the firing chamber. We're gonna push it all together like so. If it bubbles out like that, that's okay. Now, we're gonna move towards the bolt. We're gonna put just a little bit of grease on this area here. And by doing so, we're gonna actually lubricate the O-ring, the U-Pack O-ring that's located inside the firing chamber. So we're gonna put a little bit like so. Not a lot, just enough to say it's lubricated. If you put too much, it's gonna end up in the breach because the air blows by. Okay, so just like that, that's more than enough. We're gonna put everything back together, make sure we don't forget our fully free floating O-ring. Like so. And we're gonna put the rammer housing back onto the firing chamber. Like so. We're gonna push everything back. Now, for these two O-rings right here, we're not gonna put any grease. We're gonna use paintball gun oil or we're gonna use Triflow. The reason why we're using a different lubricant is because this sits in the breech and it doesn't need that type of lubrication. It doesn't need a sticky type of lubrication. So we're gonna just put a drop of oil on each O-ring. We're just gonna take our finger and disperse it like that. If you use the grease, it's gonna get sticky, it's gonna get grimy, it's gonna collect a lot of dirt and junk, and it's gonna end up in your breech. It's gonna affect your accuracy. All right, so everything's closed up. Now we're gonna take care of the stationary O-rings here, 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 and here. Just put a little bit of grease on your finger, like so, and we're just gonna put a dollop on each. Basically those O-rings are just there to seal everything up. They don't move. Uh, the reason why we're lubricating them is so that it slide, the drivetrain slides into the body a lot easier uh, and it doesn't wanna snag anything. Now, once that's done, we're gonna put it back into the gun. Make sure we push down on the release button, line everything up, make sure it clicks into place, give it a test pull. There, we know everything's set up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our attention to the front of the gun, namely the eyes and detents. So to work on the detents, you're gonna need your Allen key and you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. So we're gonna take our Allen key, we're gonna remove the retaining screw, put it aside, and we're gonna take our eye cover off, exposing everything. When you take your eye cover off, just make sure that you don't lose this detent spring. So we're gonna take out the detent spring like that, we're gonna put it aside. We're gonna remove our detent 
sometimes it can be a little difficult to pull out, especially when it's dirty and full of paint. I'm gonna put that aside. And now we're gonna take our Phillips screwdriver and remove the eye board. Once we have it, we're gonna remove the screw from the eye board and put it aside so we don't lose it. Now, to clean the eyes, we're gonna take a microfiber cloth. We're gonna be sure to clean this area here, turn it over, this area here. We don't want any paint residue sitting on there, so make sure you do a good job. As far as cleaning the body of the gun, you wanna clean all this area here. Most importantly, the detent well and the two eye wells, because that's where all the electronics and the detent sit. So now that that's all cleaned up, like so, we're gonna start reassembling the eye board. When you're putting it back in, make sure everything slides nicely into place. It's not binding or anything like that. Now you screw everything down. Make sure that you do not over tighten that screw because you wouldn't wanna strip out the body. So just hand tighten it, don't force it. Once you reach the end, that's fine. Now, we're gonna clean our detents. Make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure you clean inside here. Don't want any paint goop sitting in there because that'll affect the detent spring. So it's all nice and clean. Make sure the eye well is nice and clean. Just drop it in. It can only go in one way. It can't go in backwards or anything like that. Make sure you wipe down your spring properly. Again, with your microfiber cloth. Just make sure it's nice, clean, shiny. Drop it inside the detent like so. Now, when it comes to cleaning your eye covers, make sure you clean this channel here and the detent well here. And you can also clean the outside as well. So we're gonna do that. Like so. Then we just drop the eye cover on top of that entire assembly. Now, if you notice it binding or anything like that, it could be two things. It could be your eye wires or it could be your detent spring. So if it binds up, just lift the eye cover, make sure everything's still in place and then set it back down. Last but not least, we drop in the retaining screw, take our Allen key, and screw it down. Again, you don't wanna over tighten it, you just wanna leave it nice and hand tight so that you don't strip out the body. And that's it, you're done. Very, very simple gun to work on, it's a blast. If you do this every time you play, you're gonna have the utmost performance out of your GI Victus. If you have any questions about the Victus, be sure to visit gisports.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email tech at gisports. Thank you.